y'all. Get your stuff. We're going. We're going out the country. A thousand kisses from you is never too much. I just don't want to stop. Oh, my love. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is authenticity everything authentically kennedy that's me if you are new here be sure to like comment and subscribe and if you're feeling generous turn on those post notifications so you can see all the latest videos as they drop so for today's video as promise i will be doing a part two to my cancun girls trip video uh the first video basically was like a vlog kind of an overview of the trip what we did what things looked like this video though i really wanted to focus more on the planning process i've actually received just like a whole bunch of questions on like how i plan things how i found certain airbnbs and resorts and whatnot um and prices are very important because look we are not the one percent um so i am here today to basically go over all of that we're going to talk about dates that i basically texted everybody like y'all get your stuff we're going we're going out the country we're going to talk about how i found different locations that accommodated everybody and all that jazz so yeah let's get into it okay so when i was thinking about my birthday it was honestly like a spur of the moment thing but that's kind of just how my life operates but i'm like let's take a girl's trip like no one so far has you know wanted to do a big trip for their birthdays this year so i'm like i'll i'll claim it i'll do it so i was just thinking about like places to go and whatnot um considering we are in a pandemic but I had just remembered that a friend that I went to school with posted that she went to Temptations Resort in Cancun. So I really liked what Temptations looked like. Like I was lucky into that kinky stuff, you know? So I was doing my research and I'm like, this is my baby. I found the one, Cancun. Um, so basically I did a whole bunch of research early in August and then let's see. On August 14th, I sent a, you know, the big message that you send when you just want to, you know, tell everybody about the trip. I kind of included prices and stuff like that. Um, me and my closest friends have a group chat called Nubian Queens. So I kind of just dropped the message in there and then I sent it to a few friends outside of that and some family. And yeah, basically I'll include like a screenshot into the video. But basically, I was telling them the dates that I had in mind. So my birthday, which was December 17th of 2020 to December 21st, a good, what's that? December 17th, 18th, 19th, 21st. A good four days. Five days. A good amount of time um, in Cancun. Um, Okay, I got my little notepad because I need to organize my thoughts. But basically, um, a few things to consider when planning a big trip is the time frame, how long y'all are going. So we did the 17th to the 21st. Um, consider everybody's budget. Me and majority of my friends are recent college graduates in the middle of a pandemic. Broke by broke, we ain't got it, okay. Um, so just be considerate of that and making sure that like it's cohesive for everybody. Uh, look into flights, flights, we got super lucky with our flight. Our flight round trip was like 280 with American Airlines. $280 round trip out of the country. Anybody got a baseball bat? Is it, uh, you got a baseball bat? No, cause you can't beat it with one. So you don't need a baseball bat like you can't beat that consider lodging you want to think about like all-inclusive versus like airbnb and then excursions of course you know you can't stay cooped up in the crib all day and then i did goodie bags just because like i do realize that my friends dropped a decent amount of money to come and spend my birthday with me and it was just like it was a vacation for them of course but like it was like me showing gratitude like thanks y'all here's some here's some goodie bags so regards to lodging i'll just backtrack a little bit so i chose to do an airbnb the first night people were asking like why are we doing airbnb the first night for prices matter it was cheaper it was cheaper to do an airbnb one night um versus all-inclusive all the nights because all-inclusive can't get a little pricey although we got a good deal but i did the airbnb the first night our airbnb which was gorgeous i included that in my previous video but that slept 
Okay, rewind. Okay. The Airbnb slept, I think, like 10 people with like, they would make accommodations for more. But rewind, the initial amount of girls that were supposed to be going was 15. It's supposed to be 15 of us. And we had all 15. We had them, we had them real tight. Up until those last few weeks when, you know, families started to express concerns about coronavirus and being home for the holidays. Completely understandable. It was unfortunate that not everybody could go, but yeah, our final number was 10, including myself. It would have been 16, including me, if everybody had went. But I say that to say that that's what I was initially planning for, traveling like in a group of 15, which would have been like super lit, but also, explains the need for why everything was so organized because you just you can't just be like buy your ticket buy your flight let's go with the vibes like as great as that sounds and it probably would have turned out fine i i just just it's not me i like some sort of order because things normally don't go as planned so it's like it's nice to have a plan to like secure the bag in a sense um yeah so for lodging, we did that Airbnb the first night, and then we did all inclusive at Conditions Cancun. <laughs> um, that was like so the prices were interesting. Some of us, nobody booked on Temptations actual website, which I would say is a travel hack. Check out these third-party websites. Check out Priceline. Check out Agoda. Check out literally all the second-hand. I think that's what second party websites check them out because they have the deals y'all like i think what we would have paid on the actual resorts website was like pretty much double of how much it cost us so that's definitely something worth looking into um another way that i think we got a steal was timing like my birthday is obviously around the holiday season christmas was like a few days later but the dates we went right before super sweet because at one point we were looking into going after christmas prices increase exponentially i think majority of us spent about like 250 to 270 each to split rooms which is like super good for like three days um but if we had gone after christmas or like around new year's which would have been busy, but it would have cost like i think we looked at it, it was like 700 per person 700 on top of like $300 flight. That's like 1K already. Who got it? Not me. Also with lodging and all inclusive, all inclusive may be a bit more on the pricier side, but it's worth it because it, the name speaks for itself, but that's unlimited food, unlimited alcohol at your fingertips. So like, and where we stayed, it was 24 hours. So like tacos, those late night munchies, but like, it's free it's actually a temptations five dollars for room service which was like okay y'all come on but it was fine five dollars for like you get a platter of food, which was pretty chill excursions so i basically was like y'all like i understand that this trip is already a lot this excursion is like not mandatory whatever that means right like y'all don't have to go but like it would be fun to leave and go everybody ended up going it was so much fun we did, I found an excursion that was like, it was literally $117 per person, right? Listen, I'm gonna include the link in the bio. Thank me now or later. At some point, maybe not, it's fun. Um, I found an excursion, $117 per person, which included ATVs, busing, zip lining, busing, snorkeling, busing, Zip lining into the cenote, which is like a big, pretty pool thing. Listen. And when we got there, we couldn't say no to the things that they added, which were horseback riding. Listen. And we did a zombie attack thing. It was literally so much fun. Basically, we got on a giant monster truck. Like, I had known what monster trucks were. I didn't know that they were like monstrosaurus.com like literally huge but we got on a monster truck they took us into the jungle and the employees that worked there put on like monster masks and we got to shoot paintballs at them <laughs> it was so funny because like half the group was like this sounds inhumane but the other half of us myself included was like let's do it shoot 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 
you don't want these bullets fly out last like oh, man that was a good time so all of that like so those additives might have been like an extra 30 40 per person it's like 150 oh and they gave us they gave us chicken fajitas with like rice and beans uh my magnificent those are excursion that everybody ended up doing and then of course you got a budget like miscellaneous right so that first night we were at the airbnb clearly it wasn't all inclusive we went to a dinner that was expensive rosa negra is a great time but that bill will rack up it will we were also celebrating a birthday so like my birthday we got some snacks some drinks all that good stuff so definitely when you're planning your trip remember miscellaneous also if you're going out the country remember like the the um exchange rate so pesos are mexico's currency and the u.s dollar is like i forget the percentage maybe i'll include it a little screenshot but um basically the pesos is less than the u.s dollar um and they were telling us when we were there that they prefer the u.s dollar so like we were able to use that but some of us did get pesos out just to have that is all of that now on to the handy dandy slideshow that i made I call it a travel guide because you know, kids, Ken Cookies Declassified Travel Guide. It basically broke up like day by day. So day one is my birthday. We're gonna arrive at Cancun. I So where it says this is the link to, I um, hyperlinked a Google Doc because our Airbnb host was arranging driving accommodations for us and he needed to know when everybody was landing. We didn't all fly in together. We had people flying from Cali, people flying from Miami, all types of places. So we had to get good times. It all worked out in the end, but yeah, um, I had a Google Doc for that out. So we all got there. Check-in was at three. We probably didn't check-in until like four or five. Um, and like I said, y'all, plans are subjects to change. Our plans definitely change. We ended up at Rosenegger at like 9, 9.15. Because like one of my best friends missed her flight. And we had to wait for her. It was just, it was just a lot. But it worked out as it always does when we do it. When we do it. Let's get tempted. We're going to wake up. Hangover free. Hangover's not allowed. Leave those hangovers in 2020. Um, so we're going to check out the Airbnb. Or, excuse me. We checked out. I'm talking like it's still happening. <laughs> we checked out the Airbnb at noon. Basically, Temptations allows you to do a early check-in, which we all did. However, when we got there, our rooms weren't ready, so that system's a little flawed, but I digress. Um, so basically, when we got there, though, we were still able to like use the all-inclusive amenities. So we ate, got some drinks in, and were able to check in after that. And basically, the rest of the day, you know, that part didn't have to be super planned because it's like, y'all, we all know we're just do what, do what you want. Um, and every night, Temptations has a theme. We love themes. So Friday night was Sexy Toga. I did not come prepared because they they like were like, yeah, wear Sexy Toga, but also you don't have to stress that. And I'm like, Jesus, Togas don't be sexy. I literally looked. I looked everywhere for like, you know, a silk dress or like white or something to no avail. So I just kind of wore a swimsuit cover up, you dig. It worked. Day three, shoddy is a wedding. Ah, ah, ah. Um, we're gonna wake over, hangover free again. Um, and then take advantage of maybe like the all-inclusive stuff. Did we do that? Yes, we did. We went on a sailboat. Sailboating, sailboarding. It was so nice. It was so nice. But they had windsurfing, sailing, beach volleyball. They had jet skiing. We did not make it there. Day three. Things got a little weird. Oh, y'all see my lion earrings. It's because I got a mane. Um, lions are actually my spirit animals. I rethought about that question. Okay, and then there was a phone party at the pool, which I included like a little bit of a clip of, but like you can't really record here, so y'all just gotta pull up and go and tell them that I sent you. And maybe they can find me out and I can go with you guys. Um, it was a phone party, and then the Saturday night theme was neon. So much fun. Literally, so like the DJ personal preference right but the dj wasn't like all that during the day but these night parties bro the dj ate like when i tell you i was thoroughly surprised Ooh. and it's just like the theme of temptations like if a theme song or like if the resort had a song associated to it it would be wop 
they only played WAP once and he remixed it. I was grateful for that one time though because like it took him a minute to play. We heard it the second to last day there. But yeah, it was fun. Day four. Oh, I'm about to die. Oh, splash. Maybe girl, let you want to fall. Um, so this was excursion day that I mentioned everybody ended up doing, but I noted that it was completely optional because like we're at an all-inclusive resort. You can do excursions on the resort. These are just different. Um, so this is everything that I described. Round trip tra transportation. Yes, when we went snorkeling, they let us drive the boat. It's, it's like, we were like, low key, like, gee, how are we driving these boats without a boating license? But we're just not gonna do it. But they let us drive the boat out to the Angel Coral Reefs. Saw some fishies, had some conversation with some underwater mermaids. Busting. Um, the ATVs were so much fun. We did lose a few soldiers, but they're all right now. Whew. Uh, we did zip lines. Some of my friends got over some fears. One of my line sisters, she don't like heights, but she did it. She screamed the whole way, but she did it. Um, and then, like I mentioned, the chicken fajitas. I don't know. I don't know if the chicken fajitas were like as good as they were, or we were just so tired and hungry because we hadn't eaten all day, really. But they were good. Mm. With the stuck face. Um, and I made a reserva reservation for that earlier. I did it on Viator, Viator, V-I-A-T-O-R. And basically they let you make the reservation up until like the day before and then they charge your card. So that was really clutch. And we had like the whole car to ourselves, or van I should say. And then, so the plan, oh, things really don't go as planned with these trips, but it's good to have a plan. Um, when we got back to do a formal dinner at Sea Flirt, which was one of the restaurants on the resort, it would have been like free, but like part of the all-inclusive thing. Um, however, we opted out because we hadn't made it out the entire trip. We had not like went downtown or anything like that. And we we're like, y'all, like this is our last day. We gotta make it out. Um, and it was honestly for the best. We ended up at this. It was really so much fun. Like. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. We we actually Ubered to like another place. Okay, this is what happened. So we, me and my best friend Jess, we looking for places we like. Where do we go, where do we go, where do we go? Um, We find this one place. We Uber there, like I'm all hangry and stuff. Like y'all, let's go, let's go. We Uber there, we get there. They open the doors for us. Hi, welcome to downtown. We're like, hi, where's this restaurant? I'm hungry. You're not sure when you're hungry. They're like, oh. That place is closed forever. I'm like, damn, y'all don't put a chicken wing in my mouth ASAP. However, this man, he was so nice. He was like, baby, I got you. Come with me. So we walked literally like down the street to this place. I think I put in the other one, but I'll relink it. Um, I forget the name, but bro, DJ. Ah. Food. Like it wasn't super expensive. Like it was like a club, but like we ate, we did hookah, we danced. I danced the night away. It was great. 10 out of 10. Okay, so this was just me kind of like listing the additional costs. Oh, here we go. The exchange rate um, is 20 pesos to one US dollar. So pretty chill. Um, and then just to know like taxi fees, Thursday night dinner, which is my birthday, optional downtown Cancun. I basically said like, I knew he was going to end up downtown because I know my friends and I know myself and it's like, gee, if, if we're in a new city, if we're out of the country, there's no way we're going to stay in one place the whole time. So I am that friend. <laughs> I, I'm that friend that's like, y'all like, let's jazz it up. Let's, let's make a shake or whatever. Um, so I included a scavenger hunt to-do list. It didn't really get done. But it was like, it was it was anticipation for the trip. It's like, oh, this is what we on. These are the vibes. So I will say like, if and when I do this again, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do a scavenger hunt. Like, bro, like, like y'all can read, but like get a tattoo that happened. I didn't, we didn't see any puppies, unfortunately. Tequila shot. We did a TikTok. We were supposed to do redo 30 seconds of drunk and love on the beach. I truly wanted to do that. We gotta do that. Um, to flirt with like, someone in a British accent, bro. Like, that would have been so cute to see somebody flirt with a British accent. And I had a prize plan. But we did not deliver. 
but there was no prize. But yeah, I really want to do this. I'm gonna save this actually for another time. But y'all, if y'all plan a trip, you can use my scavenger hunt, duty free. Just make sure to shout me out, subscribe. All that jazz. All that jazz. I um, a few friendly reminders, right? So we are traveling during a pandemic. Responsible. Basically ask everybody to get tested for COVID like in good time before the trip and to quarantine if need be. Or like, yeah, quarantine even if you don't have it. Just so we know like who we were traveling with was like in the clear. And we were really only in each other's faces. So that worked out good. So I would recommend that. Um, basically, this is like kind of sort of common sense. But just so people didn't forget, tell your phone and bank company that you were traveling. Because like... They might get a little iffy on that. Obviously through this, things definitely did not go as planned. But they worked for the best, honestly. Learning lesson and less, but um, that is all I have for you all. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all on next week's video. That was kind of weird. Thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching, um, and I will see you all on next week's video.